<sighs> well, I've been here at the new house for a couple of days. Um, I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance. You know, I wanted to do some videos like every day, but man, I have been so busy uh, just running around getting basic household items and some of the things we need. You know, uh, I, I got my old, uh, it's my 19... 75 Magnavox console record player. I'll put some LED lights in it, but you know, but just play, playing music on it, 70s vibe. Last night I had a roaring fire in here. So nice. Um, just getting things ready. Um, I just got up, it's Saturday morning. <clears throat> Working on the kitchen. We have a huge leak under the sink, unfortunately. There's like an old iron pipe for the drain. <laughs> it's leaking into the garage. Had a plumber come over here. He cut open the ceiling and he goes, oh my God, you're going to, he goes, we're going to have to probably rip out everything here to get to the bag of this and get to this pipe because it goes down into the wall and they're going to come back Monday and do it. Welcome to home ownership. I did find like the actual blueprints to the house uh, when they did the major additions. You know, I'm loving my appliances. You know, I got this KitchenAid induction cooker I haven't got a chance to use. I got my flat grill over there. Uh, just put in uh, this little brave old microwave. This is the greatest microwave. I did a video on this microwave on my bus channel that it's a microwave air fryer toaster oven. It does everything. Went down to the Williams Sonoma over in Green Valley Ranch. Picked that up. Um, trash. I've trash everywhere because I've been, I have spent six or maybe seven thousand dollars already at Costco and Sam's in the last three days. Not exaggerating. Because you just, <clears throat> you buy, like, you realize you have nothing. Like, I didn't have a trash can, you know, like, and all the little things that you need, you know. I bought a, you know, just, I, bought a, I bought a fire extinguisher for the kitchen. I bought, um, you know, some batteries. I bought uh, new locks. I'm going to put in these, um, I hope this is a good idea. I'm going to put in these um, Wi-Fi enabled uh, locks that because I got all these doors and what I wanted those locks for is they have an auto locking feature so sometimes you go out a door and you leave it unlocked well you can set it so that after a little bit of time it'll just automatically relock itself that's what I really want more than I want the keypad thing but you can also unlock it with your phone so while I'm in Dallas I can have contractors and or different people come and I can unlock the door for them I can remotely open the garage um, Lots of things like that. I've been installing security cameras, the Orbi mesh wireless, uh, you know, internet system, uh, installing new ring cameras, ring doorbells, wireless cameras. There's like eight cameras around the building that are hooked up to like a network system. And then there's an ADT system. So, uh, story time. <clears throat> First night we were here, it was about, I don't know, 11, 12 o'clock, and I heard some kind of like uh, ruckus outside, some noise, somebody yelling. We go out there, and there's a crackhead, an old-fashioned, genuine crackhead, wearing some 90s-looking pastel blue jacket. It was, like, it was like green, and, you know, like you could tell this jacket was 50 years old. And he was, he was dirty, he was homeless, and he was spinning around in a circle, yelling like, you know, demons are trying to get him, and he was tripping. But he had a steel pipe or something in his hand. Well, I'm not going to go into detail, but I chased him off the property all the way down Mountain Vista to Tropicana, just about. So <laughs> the neighbors heard all this. The neighbor came out, and he goes, oh, yeah, that guy's been over here before. I found him on top of one of my cars. And he's like, yeah. I was like, oh, my God, we got to get do something about that. And he says, well, you know, the previous owners who lived there... Uh, they had a big German shepherd with a shot collar and they had an invisible fence here at the gate and he'd roam around the property. And uh, so, you know, no one would come on the property because they'd be greeted with this German shepherd. Well, I was looking at this other outbuilding. Let me go out here. Let me show you something. Check this out. So one of the buildings we have out here is this building there. Notice the doggy door. <laughs> yeah. So that building was originally the well house. They moved, they had to move the well over, so now it's outside the well house. So it's just this building. And it's got an air, it's air conditioned and everything. And the dog was living in there. And uh, they had a bed in there for him and everything. So, you know, maybe, maybe it's time that I, <laughs> I get another dog. 
I don't know, they tell me that it's a pretty good neighborhood, that it's kind of a fluke, you know, but whenever you have a big city, you're gonna have weirdness. And I, I haven't seen a whole lot of homeless people. I mean, we're in a suburban kind of area, but they just roam, they, they just, you know, you can find them just about anywhere. And um, anyway, so we're gonna do something about that. Maybe I'll get another Rottweiler. I haven't had one in a while. <laughs> um, but a lot of plans for this place. You know, probably maybe where you're watching right now, it's covered in ice and snow. Uh, here it is not. It's chilly. Don't get me wrong, it's a little chilly out. <clears throat> but um, hear the birds chirping. It's probably nicer than Wisconsin. It's probably nicer. So I, I haven't gotten my bedroom set up yet. So I set up camp in one of the spare rooms. <laughs> I'm sleeping on the floor. Well, it's a $500 mattress, you know, it's a 14 inch foam mattress. I have two, two humidifiers running in here. And it's still dry. Somebody from the, the desert needs to explain to me how you live out the way. What, maybe I just need to adjust. I'm looking into getting a whole home humidifier, but I'm used to living in Dallas where it's, you know, 80% humidity half the time. So my body just isn't used to this dryness. It takes a little time to ad adjust, I guess, because this unit over here is a two gallon unit. And then this one's like a one gallon unit over here. <clears throat> and uh, that's why I'm a little, <clears throat> you know, we still got to do this uh, other bedroom over here. There's nothing in here. And I'm going to recreate it just like the one I have in Dallas. Um, th this whole room is going to be purple. My room in Dallas is purple. We painted the ceiling chrome and we have purple carpet and purple walls and it's my crown royal room and um the bathroom i've been getting the bathroom set up uh working on i love this bathroom again there's just trash everywhere because i don't have trash cans but you know the thing is is every time you buy something it comes in like a huge blister pack of packaging, doesn't matter what it is, it's got tons of packaging. And I didn't realize how exhausting it is to open packages and open boxes. And um, just like my hands are all just cut up, like, you know, from cardboard paper cuts, trying to open stuff, you use a knife. Uh, it's it's exhausting, like, uh, you know, like I bought a pack of lighters for the, so I could light the fireplace. and. I spent five minutes trying to pry them out of the blister package. Whoever invented blister packaging, eh, I mean, God. Anyway, I've been trying to get up. I did bring some clothes. So, I mean, this is my giant walk-in closet here. And I've been, uh, you know, just kind of putting some stuff in here. And for some reason, there's a ceiling fan. I, <laughs> I don't need a ceiling fan in my closet. So, I found these at Costco. These are like these big giant panel LEDs. So I'm gonna have the ceiling fans taken out and put these panel LEDs. I don't need a ceiling fan. What I need is lots of bright white light so I could come in here and check out the colors. Check this out, this is my, I have a Dumb and Dumber outfit. I have the orange one. Yeah, I do. Um, yeah, I just have, I, I hadn't even started filling this thing up yet. I hadn't even begun. Um, I'm gonna put bidets in all the toilets because I love those. Um, finally got to try out my new shower, which is epic. But I, I had to put in this, uh, this cool, because it didn't have sprayers. Look how high everything is. These people who live here must have been giants because everything in here is tall. But put in these new mowing sprayers. Look how huge this shower is. I mean, I can walk around in here. There's a bench. For if you get tired from walking around your shower. Oh, I'm exhausted. Okay, big shower. One of the other things we're gonna do in the house, we're gonna, there's no bathtub in here. And my, my wife's all about the bathtub. I like the bathtub. So we've got this huge space here. Look at this. You can park a DeLorean in here. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to cut the concrete through here and put in piping. And we're gonna put a big soaking tub. One of those tubs like, Calgon, take me away. So we're gonna put that in. Still have, this is Rachel's closet, which is much larger than mine, by the way. But, you know, she's a chick. She's got way, way more stuff. 
She hasn't even been here. She's never even seen the house yet. She's still in Dallas because she has clients and things. You know, she's a, a wellness director, um, personal trainer. So she, the gosh darn light switch. It's like there's a thousand light switches. And by the way, let me show you something. You ever seen a light switch like this? Check out this light switch. It's a push button. All the light switches are push buttons. I've never seen those before. Oh, wait, there's something really cool I got to show you. Check this out. Let me run in here to this other room. This is cool as hell. Check this out. Hold on, hold on. All right, check this out. Okay, so under the stairs, I found this old stereo, like from the 70s. Check this thing out. Now, the important thing is, you see all these little switches? Well, there are speakers all through the house, right? In the ceiling. There is a whole home stereo system. Now, it's a little crackly. And I gotta fix it. So I'm gonna replace this with a modern unit. There's an eight track. That's, okay, that's a trip, right? So I'm gonna, but look at this. It's like a control panel. This is how many speakers there are throughout the house. So I'm gonna put a modern unit in here. And um, how cool is that? Wow. Okay, going down into the garage. There's Knight Rider. Um, this is this leak. Look at this. This is pipes that uh, run through the kitchen and they're leaking. So I put a bucket here. It's, it's unique the way the dude did the water because there's water on one side of the building and water on the other side of the building. So basically you've got the kitchen sink and dishwasher and then on the opposite side of that bathroom you have toilet and sink. And then right here is the laundry room inside here. So you have all the water concentrated in this one area and I still need to learn how these water softeners work. I mean, there's this salt thing here. I need to learn how that all works. I really don't know how to do it. But, um, you know, it's all concentrated into this one little area. You know, here's this huge laundry room. Again, the push buttons. No, wait. This okay. And so, I don't know what we got to do with this big room. Anyway, so all the water is concentrated in this one thing, which comes from a, the well. And anyway, they're coming back Monday to rip all this out and fix it. So I had the white Rolls Royce parked here. I had to move it out of here. I've got my Trans Am here. This building also had a central vacuum unit, which uh, probably works, but I'm not using that. Also, just about everywhere I look is a hidden, like, cubby hole where you can hide a body. I mean, it's weird. So, update on the truck. Uh, Rockstar wheels suck. Don't buy those. Had to go to Four Wheel Parts right down the street, down Russell. Uh, great guys. I'm ordering a set of, or I've ordered a custom set of wheels for the truck. Heavy duty. Well, you know, they're actually all heavy duty now, is what the guy told me. He said these old Rockstar wheels that are on here. Where's the truck? Uh, they're rated at like 2,300 pounds or something crappy. Uh, and the wheels I'm getting are rated at like 3,800 pounds per wheel. So, uh, but they're not gonna be here till Monday. Uh, so I'm stuck here till Monday. I was gonna leave earlier, but, uh, Hey, I'm fine with it. Um, and I'll get those wheels and uh, we're gonna put the same tires on and then I'll be on my way. Notice how noisy it is out here, the cars. This house is like soundproof. I can't hear any of this in there. Also, there's grass in Vegas, green grass. I have a sprinkler system fed from my well so I get all the free sprinkler I want, it's great. So here's something else. You'll notice there's no wires running to the house, right? 
Like they're not, there's not nothing coming from these poles. Going to the house. It's because this dude buried like everything. You can kind of see a line there where the electrical comes in. Some Harley's running around. Now. Even the internet cable. I was getting the internet hooked up and I was searching all over the house trying to find the coax, right? And I finally found it coming in. Then it goes all the way around the house and I finally traced it in. Yeah, I got some extra tile. It's gonna come in handy later. Let's see here. I, I plan on adding on to the house. I'm gonna build a big party room and a theater and a rehearsal space basically equal to this. I want to come out about 25, 30 feet, probably about out here. And then all the way the length of this. So, you know, we're going to come off the side of the house and build a bit of a slant roof. And um, it's going to go... Man, I should get my Harley out of the shed. I might take the Harley out. Maybe that's what I'll do. Anyway, um, yeah. So we're going to build a huge party room. There's going to be a stage here. All right, an elevated stage, drum riser and everything, where the screen comes down to watch movies. There's going to be a bar through here. We're going to have my pinball machines, games, and it's going to be connected to the house. And we'll probably like redo these stairs. We might rip these out and put in some like interior kind of stairs that lead into the kitchen and then lead into the laundry room. And I'm going to convert the laundry room a little bit, have a bathroom in it and everything. That's kind of the plan that I want to do. Um, I... Uh, I need to get this backyard cleaned up a bit. I need to get a pool pool person to come out here. Look at the grass. A couple of these need to be, I need to get a sprinkler guy out here too to fix my sprinkler heads. They're getting stuck. The water is very hard here. Cause it's a lot of minerals in the water, you know? A lot of calcium and lime. Got some like, flower bushes, some kind of flowers. I don't know my bushes. There's a gazebo here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Oh. Okay, got a gazebo. I need to get a pool person to come and take care of this pool for me because, sorry, I got a snip of it. All right, it's the Corona, it's back. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, this is a mess. I want them to drain this thing. I want them to scrub it. I want them to patch a couple areas and repaint it. Get it all pretty again. And this summer, oh my God, it's gonna be great. And actually, I'd kind of like to remove this fence. I don't know if it's a legal requirement to have it because I already have another fence. That, so I don't know if you have to have two fences. I don't have any kids, but I at least like to take out this part of it, you know? Just seems redundant to me. And then um, in this area, I'm gonna put me a hot tub here. Big hot tub. Be grand. Where does that window go? What is that? I was just thinking, this is my office. What is this? I don't think that exists anymore. I just realized, like this, I don't know where that goes. I gotta investigate that, because I know where that goes. That's my backside of my, what's gonna be in my office. What is that? That's weird. And I've been tracing wires all over the place. See, this is the this is my bedroom. And you know what, wait, this window isn't in the bedroom either. I don't think. This one is. Wait a minute. Okay, I gotta figure this out. And then there's cameras everywhere. There is cameras everywhere. I don't know if this light works. I, I have a lot to figure out. It's it's crazy. Okay, going into the warehouse. We've got uh, air compressor, lots of 220 power, uh, sink in here. It's kind of crappy, but yeah, you got a bathroom in here. Not much to it, but you know, Oh, there's a security system in here. Why? So, but there's a toilet and a bathroom, you know, you go to the bathroom. Don't have to go all the way to the house. So that makes it what? Three, four, there's five bathrooms here. This thing's plumbed for air all over the building. <clears throat> and done with uh, 
Steel pipe, by the way, not PVC. I mean, the, the, the air goes everywhere. And um, this dude used to work on motorcycles. I put the white Rolls Royce in here just to keep it out of the way. Got this big gantry here in this pit. I showed this in the previous video, but if you didn't see the video, this pit is really deep. Um, you got a drain in the floor here. I'm thinking about putting a two post lift here, but I'm a little worried because there's some cracks on this concrete. And we might have to check on that. But I'm also thinking about extending the building out. There's another lift. What was this dude lifting? It's crazy. But you know, there's air, there's water everywhere. Like what is this? I think this is a hot water, maybe. Maybe that's why it's red and then this one's not, I don't know, I don't get it. I gotta find out. And then we've got these big water cooler things. And I don't know how well these water coolers work. Um, I don't think I have the water turned on. Let's see, here's the coolers. really cold. Well, it's cold outside. <laughs> this one's having trouble getting going. It's got a bad starter capacitor on the motor. I'm going to turn it off. That's an easy fix. That one's working. Oh, oh my God. All right. That one needs a capacitor. It's probably, it should just needs a little grease. You know, it's been sitting for a long time. Hadn't been used. In here, in this room, this is a heated air conditioned room. You got the heat on. Well, this door is a little... Sticky, what's up with that? Huh, those tiles high right there. Okay. Anyway, check out this room. This guy used to work on motorcycles in here. I mean, look at the tile, right? And then there's all these drawers. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Air trucks in here. Every one of these drawers has stuff in it. But this dude, there's some, a tap set? Wow, nice. He left a lot of crap in here. It's my first time looking in these drawers, so. Grommets. Jesus, there's a lot of bearings. Put all this stuff in here. More air. So. We're thinking, I, I want to make this the DeLorean assembly room where we build the time machines. And the best thing I could think of is to probably cut a garage hole into this wall right here. Even though we got all this electrical running through there, that's going to mess up the flow of electrical there. The other idea was to do it here from the inside of the garage. But then you'd have to make a crazy turn to get in here, you know? So you'd have to, that'd be too difficult. The other idea would be to, you know, remove all of this and then have the garage door there. But then you got the car facing this way, which is okay. But there's plenty of room. It doesn't matter that the ceiling is low because, look at this, there's another light here. How does that work? Just like that. Ah, wow, LEDs, okay. So anyway, the idea is, that this would be our DeLorean assembly area where it's completely climate controlled, have only the tools and the things that we need to, to build the DeLorean in here in a clean environment. Because we're gonna continue building the DeLorean time machines and, you know, until there aren't any more DeLoreans. <laughs> and then we'll just start making DeLoreans, I guess. Uh, and then, you know, other cars that would fit in here as well, but for clean work, clean DC electrical work, the kind of stuff that we're doing, you know. It's one of the things I like about building the DeLorean time machine is that it's not necessarily a messy project. It's why I'm not doing Knight Rider cars anymore. I, I delete an email just about every day that says, you know, please build me a Knight Rider. I'm just like, Pfft. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing the 18 grand because it's too much paint and body work. It's just too much to restore an 82 Trans Am, to restore, you know, an 83 van. They're just pieces of crap and they're just too much work. But the DeLorean, you don't have to do any paint work. It's stainless steel. And we're doing mostly metal fabrication, DC wiring, electrical, electronics. And I like doing that kind of stuff, and it's clean work. 
Um, and we're going to do that here. And basically this room here is going to be the magic room in Vegas where we're going to build the time machines. And then the warehouse is going to be used for, um, you know, doing the mechanical stuff, engine work. You know, we'll have the pit for getting up under there. We'll have the two post lift or whatever, or maybe we'll put it here. I don't know. And uh, one of my ideas is to expand the building. It's really up to the city what they're going to let us do. But uh, this building's kind of modular. And I've got all this space over here. See this big, this, and this is kind of hard to pull a car in this way. So my idea was, why don't we expand this building all the way out as far as we can to the, where, to the edge of this fence line. I don't know what the limit is. I gotta find out from Clark County what the, how close I can be to the other property. And maybe the answer lies over here, where the edge of this, you know, it's like, why does, you know. See, at one time, all of the surrounding area here for acres and acres belonged to this house. And then the guy sold it off for millions of dollars. So you've got, what is this, one, two, three, four, five, six or more feet. That's maybe eight feet, I don't know, of space. So if I had to be eight feet from the wall, this is my wall. I have barbed wire on my wall. It's one, two, three, four. That's kind of fur, far, kind of fur. It's kind of fur. But even then, so, you know, if I, if I could expand all the way the building out to here, and have it go all the way this way and then remove all of this doors and maybe most of the wall and then just put one big industrial size garage door here go ahead and pave the rest of this make the i don't know why this isn't paved here it doesn't make sense to me but anyway fill that in and uh then i'd have more space to pull in and like i said we could put the garage door for the DeLorean right there is sort of the idea or whatever you know car we're going to work on uh for the clean room with a little little subtle ramp right there i think it worked out great there's air everywhere it's like everywhere i look there's plumbed air yeah man it's a trip there's no wires running to these buildings like normally you would see wires you know coming from the poles to like a weather head, but it's all been buried. This dude did such an amazing job burying like everything. You'll see these little cuts all through, like there's the, the well and the sewage all coming up through over there. And uh, I guess this is electrical and whatever else, you know, internet. Like here was another pathway that got cut. Like this got cut up or something. I don't know what happened here. I need to find out, you know, from the city where all the different things are. This dude ran a paving company, so it wasn't no big deal for him to cut up the road and move the mailbox over here. Kind of a trip. by the Postmaster General. I got mail. You've got mail. Welcome, neighbor. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell this story. So yesterday, neighbors came by with a plate of cookies. Thought that, thought that only happened in movies. Now being in Vegas, I was... I asked him, I said, is there weed in them? It's legal here. You can go, like, to Walgreens and buy weed. <laughs> Neighbors are great. A lot of good people around here. A lot of like-minded individuals, let's just say. Dude across the street's a welder. His wife's a school teacher. The guy next door has been here for since his house was built. And um, 
told me that this used to all be farmland that belonged to this house. Before all these apartments were here, it all belonged to this house. He said he remembers as a kid, a guy driving his tractor around. Crazy, huh? So, we're very happy with the house and the neighborhood. Might have to deal with a couple of the crackheads. Crackheads are everywhere. You know, it's an epidemic. We have a lot of people that are homeless, you know, especially this year. But um, there's lots of places in this house to hide the bodies. All right, it's Saturday morning and I'm gonna begin the first of what's gonna be a long tradition. One of my favorite places out here is a little British pub called The Crown and Anchor. They do a legit straight up English breakfast. They have sticky toffee pudding. They do nice English tea, scotch eggs, fish and chips, you know, nice pies, the works. You know how I love British food. I got the real Heinz beans. And I'm gonna be a regular there. So, if you're a Vegas peep, you wanna hang out with the video Bob, that's gonna be a spot I'm gonna go. Um, a lot of cool hangouts out here, but I'm hungry and I'm ready for a little break fast. So let's go break my fast. And uh, you know what, I, if it wasn't so much work, I should have took the white Rolls Royce over there. But I'm gonna drive the big truck. Here we are, one of my favorite little spots. I just love the big red door. You have to have a reservation right now in Vegas to eat at any restaurant. So you gotta call ahead, and make a reservation, said I'm on my way over there. For some reason, that's how it works. Let's do it. Look at this. That's a real English breakfast right there. Check out this tea. Nowhere in Texas can you get this breakfast. This is what I like. Proper. Mm -hmm. 